we are putting the finishing touches on the next Siouxland Life magazine. And I know you're always excited to find out what's going on in the publication. Well, I brought the staff here today so you get a chance to actually hear from them what they're writing about. And of course, it's our summer kind of fun issue that will be coming out this next month. And so it's a lot of stuff about places you can go, things you can do, things you need to know, and um, stuff maybe you didn't know. So I, I have the team here. Let's ask them. Let's find out what's going on. Mason, you actually went up to the Okoboji Great Lakes area. What kind of things did you find there? What kind of stories were hot and popping? Well, I met with some of the uh, kind of foreign exchange workers at Arnold's Park. They were pretty fun, very friendly, I thought. Uh, I learned more about the roof garden, the ballroom that's going to open. And that'll be August. opening in August. August. Yep, and with... who did you talk to who actually performed there way, way, way back when? Uh, Tommy James, and Tommy James and the Shondells. And I'm, I suppose you're a real big fan of Tommy James and the Shondells because I'm I sure do know you, some of his songs. Now yeah. you do, right? Oh, no, I did before. You did before? Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and the third one was uh, the Inn Hotel. It's kind of a uh, hotel that's inspired by the old Inn Hotel that was demolished the other year. Um, it's got kind of this 1920s chic going on. So it's a boutique kind of hotel. Yeah. Doesn't it have a swimming pool on its roof? Yeah, well, it's on the it's on, up on the second floor. It's not quite on like the high roof, okay. but um, it, it is kind of like a rooftop pool. A little small, but cute, clean little pool. Have you ever been to Okoboji before, or was this no. the first time? I didn't know it was as far away as it is. It, 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 Shocked me with how far away it is from Sioux City. Were you all ready to go, oh, I want to go on the rides, I want to go to Arnold's Park and do all that kind of stuff? I thought we were going to get to, but it turned out Justin didn't need any pictures from the Ferris wheel. But so, thanks, We didn't Justin. get to go to, but I, I wanted to go on the rides. They looked fun. Okay, and Earl, you talked about a lot of things that are in town. What are those things? What kind of things did we find that's just in Sioux City that we could do? Um, we're in time for um, the summer series at, for Battery Park. I went to the Hard Rock um, um, the green room where all the celebrities hang out before a concert. So what kind of cool things do they have in the green room besides, I suppose, green M&M's or red uh, M&M's? or plenty of those, but they have massage chairs. They have, they have just, just tons of swag for you know, for all of the for all of the performers to take home with them in case they want to. Did you get in the massage chair? I did not. No. I know. We're missing out on all these fun <laughs> things to do. Okay, and then what else did we see? That Wasn't there the Air Museum or the Train uh, Museum? The Train Museum. Was, train Museum. And that was fascinating because I had, I guess I'd been there years and years ago, but this is the first time that I've actually been there for like a decade and they've really expanded. It's really a very unique place. You know, it's not what you expect because it's it's more than just trains, you know, it's just a part of the community, you know. They had some special cars too, didn't they? Some kind of new things that I haven't seen before. Yep, they had dining cars, they had all types of things, you know, stuff. And you can rent, you know, um, uh, rent a party room in case you have a birthday party or, a, uh, or an anniversary or a wedding party. It's, it's actually kind of nice. Okay, and what else did we write uh, about this time? Um, the Sarge Floyd Welcome Center, which is very unique. That's that big boat that's yeah, out it's, there it's when you come into town. Yes, and how many communities can say they have a Welcome Center inside a boat? So Yeah, and it's one of the first places you see when you yeah. when you drive into Sioux City. It helps you find all the things you need to know. Exactly. And it also is a museum on its own. It, yes, it is. Now, Garrett tried to look out for us. Look out. Did you see how I got that? Was that great or what? Look out for us in terms of the summer sun because it could be brutal, right? And you did a thing with tanning. How good is it for us? Is it should I just be wearing sunscreen twenty four seven? It it sounds pretty bleak. Um, it sounds like uh, you know after I did a lot of my research, I figured I shouldn't be walking outside too often. Um, I got the chance to speak with uh, Dr. Andy Chavra, a dermatologist up in uh, Dakota Dunes. Uh, very very interesting guy, and very very. Um, Firm on his position that the sun does a lot of damage to us, no matter if we're intentionally tanning or just walking outside to grab the newspaper. So, were you one who wore sunscreen? <laughs> I very rarely put on sunscreen. Will um, you now? I think so. Yeah. It's, See, it, uh, it scared you. Dangerous. Yeah. Now, you also did something about water that we have to worry about. Yeah. Should I worry about swimming pools, splash pads, all those kinds of things? Don't swallow the water if you're going to visit a swimming pool or a splash pad because um, there is the potential for um, you to catch a recreational water illness. And if you are going in the water, we have to worry about the sunscreen washing off us, right? So yes, we need to reapply. Yeah. 
Yes. Right? So I do need to worry about splash pads in swimming pools, right? There is the potential, yes. Um, swimming pools have chlorine, but the chlorine doesn't kill everything. Okay. And then you also did a look back at something that used to be, it was really big. How many years ago was that? At least, it had to be 10 years ago, uh, right? Yeah, I looked at um, the Prairie Dogs. Um, it was called the PDQ, the Prairie Dog Quest. So I looked at, back at that and how that project um, influenced public art in It Sioux was City. one of the first public arts projects we had in Sioux City. And it jump-started all that we had the uh, Seam and the Dog project mm -hmm. after that. We've had Sculpt Siouxland, which is real big right now in Sioux City. The Twigamore, a lot of projects. And so it was kind of the first and it said, gee, can we do this? And it turned out to be very successful. It actually won the outstanding um, attraction of the year in Iowa, the year that it was the winner. And then you went to a house. This is kind of fun. Yeah, I went to a house in Dakota Dunes and really learned that you don't have to do a lot um, in terms of construction to really make a difference in your house. Um, this couple, they did a lot of do-it-yourself projects. And, um, you know, just changing the paint and fixtures um, in the home really made a big difference. And did you think you could do it now after you saw that? Did you say, I'm going to go home and do all these things? Uh, no, I really don't need to do anything on my house, so... Yeah, it's because mom and dad help all the time. Isn't that the way that goes? Right. Yeah, yes. right. Well, we've got to go. We're going to go to Arnold's Park. We're going to get those rides in. We're going yeah. to see the train museum. I'm going to make sure I wear sunscreen. I'm going to watch when I go to a splash pad or a swimming pool, and I am going to try and do some home projects. So look for all that coming up next month in the Siouxland Life magazine, only in the Sioux City Journal and on stands around the area.